Eddie Hearn may be having uh, Jerron Boots in his fighting on Tubi, and it's absolutely musty. Musty energy. And I say that uh, respectfully. As you know, Jerron Boots Ennis and Brian Norman Jr. were in talks for a unification bout at 147 pounds. That fight fell through because uh, Eddie, I will get you beat Hearn or the new Eddie Hearn protection program did not want to give uh, Brian Norman Jr. a little bit of that. Uh, the same uh, that uh, Shakur Stevenson didn't want to give Frank Martin, but Frank Martin got that uh, amount from Gervonta Tank Davis. So, Brian Norman Jr. and Jerron Boots Ennis fight fell out, which I don't understand why. I say that respectfully. Both of them um, is, uh, well, Brian Norman Jr. is uh, 23 years old and he's a champion. Uh, Jerron Boots Ennis uh, basically is the email champion. Uh, he did not have to beat anybody for that belt and he's 27 years old. And Jerron Boots Ennis is an eye test warrior. That's right, eye test warrior. A lot of people on the internet, they 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 gas Jerron Boots Ennis basically, basically purely off the eye test. The man's resume is absolutely horrible. That's a chili killer. Chili killers. Yeah. Chili killers. Absolutely disgusting. Both of them in 2024 should be able to get a fight made. None of them is superstars. Both of them ain't superstars at all. Fans getting too involved in the money aspect of it. Cool, cool, cool. But nonetheless, uh, that fight did not go through. Uh, there was a purse bid between Jerron Boots Ennis and Karen. That's right. Karen was a fighter that Jerron Boots Ennis fought that where Jerron could not cut the ring off. Uh, some people say, some people call him to the boxing voice and say that Karen has some of the best work since Lomachenko. I don't know. I have to pay attention and see it. But there was a purse bid uh, for Jerron Boots in his belt between Karen because Karen has worked himself back up in the rankings. So Eddie Hearn uh, went ahead and lost the purse bid. That's right. That's the third purse bid the man Eddie Hearn then lost. Maybe four. Uh, I think he lost the Ray Ford purse bid, respectfully. Get your hand out of my pocket. Lost Alicia Baumgartner purse bid. Get your hand out of my pocket. Lost Devin the Dream Haney purse bid against Sandor Martin. Get your hand out of my pocket. Now he done lost the uh, the purse bid against Karen. Get your hand out of my pocket. Now, they are saying it is a 65-35 uh, split, which means this new promoter, we don't even know who this is, might be on Tubi. Jerron Boots Ennis might be fighting right next to a movie where we where we see uh, fried grease popping in the background from the production crew. Chicken's not even in the scene. People in the background is eating eating chicken on lunch. We might see that grease popping right next to a Jerron Boots Ennis fight which is absolutely musty at the highest level of mustivity. Musty energy. Respectfully. Um, so some will say, well, Eddie Hearn is smart because that this new promoter that's on Tubi allegedly uh, will have to pay the majority of Boots' uh, purse, but then Boots may have to go ahead and slither up uh, to Germany. That's right. Or I don't know where homeboy is from. I don't know where he's from. But the, the, the man Boots may be uh, putting on them lugs and traveling somewhere. Salute my man H-Town. He'd have he called the man Boots lugs. Lord child. Lord child. But now, most likely, that fight ain't going to happen. Uh, because uh, Jerron Boots Ennis may vacate and go up to 154, which the fans, we been wanting you to go to 154, bro. Because at 147, your resume is horrible, respectfully. Your entire resume is horrible, respectfully. I think you got uh, Lippinets on there. You, you got Via on there, who's, who's basically flat-footed. We wanted you to fight Brian Norman Jr. so we can see you can get tested for once. Uh, respectfully, but now you about to go up to 154, which we been wanting. We been wanting you to go to 154, bro. That's what we been wanting, respectfully. And um, I'm with that. But magically, Connor, uh, I eat eggs, Ben, uh, respectfully, magically has moved up the rankings in the IBF uh, for 147 pounds. So does that tell me that uh, somehow um, Eddie Hearn going to get Connor Ben a uh, uh, a title shot with Karen. If Boots vacates, then he's going to set up Boots to fight Conor Ben and come back down, um, and, and fight uh, come back down and uh, fight uh, Conor Ben for uh, the, the same title. I don't know what's going on. All I know is Eddie Hearn. He didn't lost about four purse bids in a row. Eddie Hearn got Shakur Stevenson on the undercard. I don't know what was going on, man. 
Jerome Boots Ennis should have signed to the PBC. That's right. I said it. He should have signed to the PBC. They have a history of getting uh, amazing welterweights. Keith Thurman, Danny Garcia, Sean Porter, Floyd Mayweather, Earl of True Spence, even Terrence Blood Crawford was over there. Manny Pacquiao was over there. PBC knows how to make welterweight stars. That's where Boots should have signed to. Before he was signed to Showtime, Steven Espinosa should have went over there to Al Heyman. I say that respectfully. But what say you? Is this musty energy or is it the Chili Killer? Chili Killers! Chili Killers!